Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. So in this one, I'm gonna show you how to set up eye tracking. First for OpenXR, so you can do desktop stuff. I'm not too sure how well it works with Steam, but it should be the same logic overall. And then getting it onto a MetaQuest headset. When it comes to that portion of the video, different headsets may require different plugins. So for example, the MetaQuest Pro requires the MetaXR plugin to be enabled for a build APK to work with eye tracking. The OpenXR version doesn't work off the out the, out the box essentially with the APK build. Vive Focus, you might need the Wave plugin for that one. Same as the Pico, it's gonna have its own, its own set of plugins. But the logic for the blueprints is gonna be the same based on all the headsets. So you shouldn't have to worry too much. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually show you this download from GitHub. So I'll leave a link in the description, but this OpenXR eye trackers from Mbuchia, hopefully I said that right, allows you to use OpenXR eye tracking through Unreal. So you don't have to install any of those plugins to test on desktop. So it's really cool. Make sure to download this, just install it. And then in my case, I'm using the Oculus Quest Pro, so I have my Oculus desktop application open or Meta desktop app, Meta Quest link application open now. And you do need developer runtime features enabled. So if you don't have a developer account, you will need to set one of those up. You can do that through the Meta website. And once you've done that, you can log back into the Oculus desktop app, enable developer runtime features, and that will give you access to eye tracking over Meta Quest link. So you can control stuff on the PC. What you can also do is go into the headset and enable eye tracking on the headset itself. If you enable eye tracking and there's nothing, nothing appears, it looks like everything's closed down, just wait a couple of seconds, maybe a minute, and you'll get a window pop up in the MetaQuest Pro to say enable eye tracking, and then you can kind of go through it that way. I had that issue this morning when I was trying to sort this out. So let's jump right in. So plugins, what we're gonna do is make sure that in virtual reality we have the OpenXR eye tracker working. I am using uh, Unreal Engine 5.4 so I can keep the OpenXR plugin enabled when I have MetaXR plugin installed afterwards. But I already have that MSI project for OpenXI, OpenXR installed. So what I can do is I can go to VR Porn and then we're gonna set up our eye tracking in here, which is actually pretty simple. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a timer. So timer by event. So set timer by event on begin play. And what this does is it allows us to have control over when eye tracking is being used. So on begin play, we're gonna start the timer when enable eye tracking. However, you could turn this on or off in game if you need to. So we're gonna do custom event. So enable eye tracking, leave that as it is. For the time, I'm gonna set this to 0.02. We want it pretty fast to be able to detect and then set to looping and max once per frame. If you're using different engine versions, it will be the same. You just might not have the max one frame once per frame. So just keep that in mind. Now what we can do is we can get gaze data and this links to OpenXR. And then we can bring off the out gaze data and we can search for break pin. So break eye tracking and it will give us access to all of our eye tracking data where we can then tell it to control a line trace from our pupils. So I find it easier to do a sphere trace. It gives us a little bit more accuracy. So we're gonna do sphere trace by channel. Yep, just check my notes. Sphere trace by channel, we're gonna plug that into get gaze data. And then gaze origin is gonna be our starting point of that sphere trace. Uh, we're gonna make some room because I wanna show you something that happens when we're in the, when we're using eye tracking. So we're gonna leave a little space there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag off gaze data and we're going to do a plus. And then we're also going to drag off gaze data and do a multiply. So this multiply is gonna get the distance in front of our camera or our eyes in this case, so how far forward. To do that, we're gonna right click this pin and we're gonna to go to convert it to float. And then I find putting this up to like 5,000, so it's really long. Be careful how far you put this, you might not need it that far, so let's maybe do like, right now we'll do 2,000. And we'll plug this into the plus, and then we're gonna plug that into end. So we go draw a debug type. I'm gonna do for one frame, so it's not excessive. And then we hit compile and save. So because I have that MSI plugin, so this one here already enabled and installed, I can just go ahead to VR preview 
and I need to make sure my headset is connected. There we go. So we jump in. I can actually see the line trace and it's looking where I am. However, I'm looking at the pistol right now and it's offset. So this is what I want to show you how to fix. So I'm looking directly at the pistol and we're below it. I'm looking at the top cube and we're below it. I'm looking up here, this, this X essentially with the black lines and it's kind of off. So now I'm looking directly at it. So we're going to fix that. So easiest way to do that is we're going to add an offset and we can go back to our VR pawn and we're simply going to add a plus after gaze direction. So we're going to add and then we're going to plug that into the top plus like so. And I find a value of about 160 works really well to bring that eye level up and to make it more accurate. I'm also going to increase the radius by about three and then we can do compile and save. And then if we jump back in, when we get into the headset, we should find that now when I look at the cube, we hit the cube, look at the pistol, we hit the pistol, look at that X. We're pretty damn close to, to hitting the X. So this is how you can actually set up eye tracking. And it's as simple as that. Before we go on to make the eye tracking do something, we'll, in, we'll make it interact with an actor. I want to show you that if you're using the MetaQuest plugin, what you will need to do is enable it. So virtuality, MetaX, and then restart. And then once this comes back, we'll go to project settings and then the MetaXR plugin section where we just need to enable eye tracking. Uh, I believe if you're using different platforms with their plugins, as previously mentioned, you will need to enable eye tracking in those as well. Just so when you build the APK, it knows that it can actually use it. So project settings, we go straight down to MetaXR. And all you have to do is go to here and you see Meta uh, eye tracking, eye tracking enable. And then we can enable eye tracking. So now you're pretty much done for building to the quest. If you build your APK, launch it on the headset, you'll have eye tracking all set up. But before we go, what I want to do is show you how we can actually tell our eye tracking to activate something on one of these meshes or cubes. So to do that, we're going to go to blueprint class and we're going to create a actor component. So AC underscore gaze detection. And then we also need a blueprint interface. So let's go down to blueprint blueprint interface and we'll call this bpi underscore eye tracking and then when we open this interface up we're going to create a new function called gaze detected so gaze detected we don't need anything else we're going to hit save and then inside of our actor component we're going to add that interface so bpi eye tracking and then we're going to hit compile so we can access the interface itself we're going to do event gaze detected and what we're going to do here is have this do anything we want. So in this case, to keep it short and simple, we're just going to do a print string and then we're going to promote this to a variable and we'll say this is going to be the item item we're looking at. We'll make this public, hit compile and save. We can close this gaze actor component down. And now what we need to do is go back to our VR pawn and we're going to go to our sphere trace. So from the sphere trace, we want to do out hit. Actually, we'll do return value. We'll do this to a branch first. So as long as the gaze is hitting something, then we fire it. If we don't do this, we'll get no, we'll get errors because the gaze isn't actually hitting anything. It's not triggering anything. So we do the branch to make sure that we're actually looking at something and then we can break the hit result. So once we've broke the hit result, we can actually get the hit actor. So right here, we can do hit actor and we can check to see if it has component. So search component and then we can get component by class. That class is going to be our gaze detection. So right at the top, AC gaze detection. And then we can do gaze detected message. So we're going to send a message to this component to say the gaze has been detected. Press true. So now what we can do is in our main level, we can select any one of these actors. Let's say the pistol. We can open it up and go to AC underscore gaze detection. Just add it in here and we're going to name this. We'll name this pistol and then we'll do the same thing for the cubes. So we do gaze detection on the cubes, save, and then we can even take this as far as doing the walls. So on the walls, we could go to the static mesh add, search for gaze detection. I'm going to say this is wall, wall underscore all one. And then we can also add gaze to this one, a static mesh cube. So I think that's enough for an example. Static mesh cube. And then we hit save. And then if we jump in, boot right up. And then when I'm looking around, 
these walls don't have any active components on them. But this one, when I look at it, we can see that it's telling us what we're looking at. So wall and score one, and then static mesh cube, and then normal cube, and then pistol. So that's pretty much it for eye tracking. It's super simple to do. It's really easy to implement. All we've got is our VR pawn, and we have a sphere trace coming off from our gaze with a bit of an offset for our eyes. So you might want to adjust this and then the distance, but overall, it's pretty much up to you how you go about it. If you're doing OpenXR and just the desktop stuff, you can just install that plugin and it will get the data from your headset and then go straight into Unreal so you can play around with it. You don't actually need to enable the MetaXR plugins unless you're building a APK file for the Quest Pro or the Vive Focus 3 needs its own Wave plugin to be enabled. So just keep that in mind, play around with it, but all the information's in here. A big thank you to everyone over on Patreon for supporting the channel and making it possible to do videos like this. If you want the name at the end of the videos, the credits, and you want to get download to files, which not anywhere else, then make sure to head over there and check it out. Yeah, until next time, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.